How are you? I hope you're doing well. Today is Chinese New Year. I hope our community celebrating has a lovely day. We live in Cardiff, capital of Wales, which is part of the UK. Far away, we have China. In China today is a very important day and they are celebrating the New Year. Look at this map of the world. Here is United Kingdom. Here is where we live, in Cardiff, Wales. China is all the way over here. See? It is a really long way. Luckily, people get to move to another country. We are people, not trees. We can walk and move. And that's amazing because we get to mix with loads of people. We learn different languages. I love it. Me encanta. So yes, it is a very important day in China, but also is a very important day for some of our community who will be celebrating the new year today. In our school, we celebrate everything and everybody. So this is why today we're going to be cooking some noodles. <gasps> How exciting! The Chinese calendar is a repeating cycle or pattern of 12 years with each year being represented by an animal. This week we have been learning about those different animals in the Chinese calendar. After some research together on Google Classroom, we found out that Mrs. Gary was born in 1990. So I was born in the year of the kettle, the horse. And many of you in nursery found out that some of you were born in the year of the monkey, some of you were born here of the kayak, the rooster. I loved finding out about this and then you were able to draw and colour some of these animals as well. Here you can see some examples of your beautiful work, Diane, muy bien. So how are the people celebrating this special day today? One of the things they like to win is to have a nice meal together with family and friends. That's something that we do at Christmas time too, or eat. Come and help me to cook some noodles. Barod, ready, in, die, tree. Oh, wait a minute. Shall I say it in Chinese? Yes? E, R, sun, go. Remember, the first thing is to wash your hands. Now we're going to stop the water because that's wasting the water while we're putting soap in our hands. Remember to keep those germs away, washing your hands, nails, palms, in between your fingers. And you ready? Water goes on again. Very important that you dry your hands. In a school, we use paper towels. In your house, you might use tea towel. That's all fine but don't forget to dry them. I was going to use normal noodles, but then I thought, mm, maybe young children using the kettle is not the best idea. So instead, I bought these noodles that are straight into the pan. So much easier when you're cooking with your young children. Do you like onions? Have you tried them yet? Right, they are absolutely delicious. When they're like this, you can't really smell them. But if they're grown up who's in the house, chop them in half and you smell them, oh, it's quite strong. And sometimes they even make you cry like that evil pea. Mm. This is a job for the grown ups in your house. But if you have a go at cutting or chopping, remember to put your thumb behind your fingers so your nails will protect you, making a barrier so the knife don't get to hurt you. Be safe. Ta-da! All done. Now it's time for carrots. As you know, they are super healthy and good for you. Orange carrots. How many do we have? One, two. Show me two. Die down. In, die. Are we going to peel the carrots? Because I am a grown-up, put my carrots like this. Okay, but 
because we like the children to engage and to help us when cooking and to be safe. We're going to use this instead is a really good tool to encourage children to cook with us in the safest way. So I got my carrot here. We're going to ask the children to hold that carrot. Like this, sometimes they don't realize fussy eaters eating carrots in the pasta dishes. La la la. The onion in the pan. I add some olive oil. It is very important that you put olive oil. It's super healthy, good for you, and the best one, don't forget, is Spanish. <laughs> Can you see it's turning now into a different colour, a little bit brown? We are ready then to add the other ingredients. Now I added some peppers. Can you see they are different colours? Can you spot them? Shout them out. Melon. Koch. I can see red peppers. Can you see orange? I can see orange peppers. What is your favourite colour? My favourite colour when I eat peppers is koch. Koch peppers are my favourite. Then we're going to add our carrot. You can have just a vegetarian dish. You can add chicken or beef. I will be adding some corn pieces that they taste just like chicken. After that, I added ginger and garlic puree. I then added peas, hot water and a stock cube. Let it cook. Don't forget to try some soy sauce. And then just add the noodles. When cleaning, remember to use the right bins. Today, I'm not going to use a spoon, a fork or a knife. Today, I'm going to use chopsticks. This is what they use in China to eat most of their meals, even the rice. I can't imagine how complicated that is. If you have some chopsticks at home, let your child have a go. It's really fun, it's a new tool for them and it's great for the fingers as well. Right, it's time to taste. I'm not very good at using chopsticks, but as I always say, you just need to practice to get better. So let's practice. Glow if it's hot. Mmm, so delicious, scrumptious. I learned when I went to Italy, when something is really tasty and delicious, they do this. Mmm, to say that it's really good. Can you try to do it? Mmm, I think it's really funny. And also, if you had the food in your mouth and you can't say it because it's not very nice to talk when you have food in your mouth or you're chewing, you can just say, to say it is delicious. Mm. We put some peas, some onion, some carrots, some garlic, some ginger paste. We also added some peppers, different colour ones. You can add anything you like. Maybe you want to add some tofu, maybe some chicken, maybe you would like to add some sweet corn. Anything that you like, you can add into this dish. Important thing is that you cook together and you eat together as a family. And when we all celebrate that some people in our community are having a very important day for them. Happy Chinese year to anyone celebrating. Hoyo, adios.